جناب اکبر الدین اور سر آئی ٹیک دا اپارچونیٹی ٹو پارٹیسپیٹ ان دا ڈسکشن آن دا تلنگانہ ووٹ آن اکاؤنٹ بجٹ فار دا ایئر ٹوینٹی فور ٹوینٹی فائیو فائنینشیل ایئر اینڈ آلسو دا آنریبل اسپیکر ہیڈ میڈ این اناؤنسمنٹ آف کلبنگ دا ڈسکشن آن سب سپلیمنٹری ایسٹیمیٹس فار دا ایکسپینڈیچر فار دا ایئر ٹوینٹی تھری ٹوینٹی ٹو So it's a very vast subject, Honorable Panel Speaker, sir, okay, where, where I would be required to speak on both. Sir, at, at the outset, I, I compliment the De Deputy Chief Minister Saab Janab Bhatti Vikrama Saab for presenting the first budget of the new government. He has rightly pointed out that the state budget is the presentation in the government's action plan to achieve the aspiration of the people of Telangana. The Deputy CM Saab had as, uh, added a caveat that the new government faces a di dire financial position as already pointed out in the white paper presented in the first session of the assembly. He has also assured the new government is committed to match its action with its words. So the government has reiterated its commitment to implement the Abaya Hastam six guarantees I may point out that two components of two guarantees have been implemented and another two guarantees are being implemented soon. I hope and I trust that the remaining components of six guarantees including Mahalachmi, Raitu Barosa, Indramma, Indulu, che, 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 uh, Yuta che, che. and Yuva Vikasam will be implemented at the earliest before the 100 days deadline which ends on 5th of March, 15th of March, sir. So that, uh, that, Honorable Speaker, sir, the Deputy CM Saab had assured that all promises made during the election campaigning would be fulfilled and five declarations for farmers, youth, SCSTs, BCs and minorities would be implemented. So he has pointed out the state budget has proposed 53,196 crores for implementation of schemes under the six guarantees. He has assured that additional funds would be provided once a complete assessment is made about the financial requirements of all guarantees, declaration and promises, sir. Sir, Honorable Speaker, sir, so through you, sir, we are having a white paper on the finance, the financial position of the state. We have, all, we have also had a white paper on power, sir. And now we, have, we, have, we, are, we are also going to have a white paper on irrigation, I believe. So I think, sir, after all the white papers, whichever the government wants, one white, white paper on behalf of opposition should also be discussed. And this should be regarding the implementation of six guarantees, sir. Sir, I wish him all the best in this regard. Since he has to perform and deliver in the context of the uh, resource constraints that the state government faces, Sir, it is only a vote on account budget and a full budget is likely to be presented sometime during forthcoming July and after the Lok Sabha elections. However, the state budget of, for the year 24-25 mirrors the likely scenario of state finances of the next financial year, sir. Sir, as per the budget estimate of 24-25, the total receipts are expected to be rupees 2,74,185.71 crores and the total expenditure is anticipated to be rupees 2,75,890 0.69 crores, sir. So these figures represent, uh, re represent a sharp decline from the budget estimates of the, of the year 2023 and 2024, but show a substantial increase over the revised estimate of 23-24. I do hope, I do hope that when the full-fledged budget is presented, sometime in July we may have a clear picture of the receipts and allocations, sir. So, the received estimates works out to rupees 22,849.89 crores per month and the expenditure estimate comes to 22,990.89 crores per month, sir. Per month, sir. Sir, the estimate, the received estimates include the loan and other borrowings of rupees 
53,279.82 crores during the financial year 2024 and 2025 and this comes to rupees 4,435.65 crores per month. So the interest payment in the financial year comes to 22,751.82 crores that is rupees 1,895.98 crores per month. Hence during the four month period of water account April to July 2024 the borrowings would come up to 17,742.60 crores. I repeat sir the borrowings would come to rupees 17,742.60 crores. Honorable Speaker, sir, I may point out that as per the accounts of the year 2022 and 23, the borrowings of the state government, otherwise called as fiscal deficit, amounted to rupees 32,556.50 crores. The revised estimate is rupees 33,785.83 crores in the current financial year. That is uh, uh, 2023 and 2024. In the next financial year, 2024 and 2025, the Telangana government will be borrowing rupees 53,227.82 crores. That is rupees 19,848.99 crores, sir. Sir, through you, sir, Honorable Speaker, sir, I would like the Deputy CM Saab to clarify whether the con Congress which has been present in the state legislature as the opposition was unaware of the state of affairs of the state financials in the last 10 years since the formation of Telangana. So the, if the party was aware, if the party was aware, then the question arises as to how the Congress has been very liberal in coming up with the six guarantees, five de declarations and over 300 promises in its manifesto for the assembly elections of 2023 which requires enormous allocation of tens of thousands of crores sir sir if we have to go once again once again sir i am repeating for mahalachmi scheme sir the requirement per month as per my calculation only to the bpl families would be 2249 per annum it would be 26,997, sir. Gas cylinder for rupees 500, providing 12 cylinders per annum only to BPL families. Per month, the requirement would be 5,399.40 crores. And per annum, sir, it will be 2,699.70. Free travel for women, sir, per annum, as per my calculation, 3,600. Farmers' financial assistance of 15,000 per acre, Tenant farmers sir, per month, 1,54,040, 1, uh, 1, 1, 1 crore 54,40,518, sir, acres of land, sir. The amount required per annum for this would be 23,160.87, sir. Sir, rupees 12,000 per annum for 32 lakhs, Manrega job card holders, agriculture labor, sir. The available labors are 32 lakhs, sir. For that, 3,840 crores, sir. Sir, a bonus of rupees 500 for paddy per quintal providing 1.5 crores, 15 crore quintals. The requirement per annum would be 7,500, sir. Sir, and also waiver of crop loans of rupees 2 lakhs. Sir, if we have to calculate these, sir, sir, then the amount is coming to 36,000 crores, sir. Sir, now, sir, Again, as per the record, 69 lakh farmers are there. Agar usko hum pura detail mein gaye bagar, hum agar jate hain sab, Telangana state has um, state has also total extents of 2.40 crore acre of agricultural land in 1.7 lakh crore, sir. Agar isko bhi hum le lete hain, sir. And then we go to Gruha Jyoti, the third guarantee, sir, 200 unit free electricity for all household according to the official figures, sir. There are 174.03 lakh power connections in the state, which is 125.56 lakhs connections according to 72.15% of the total consumers belong to domestic sector. If the domestic consumers are not charged up to 200 units of power per month, the total burden on the state would be anywhere around 
4,800, sir. Sir, also, sir, for this Dalit Bandi Ambitkar Abhaya Hastam, sir, that has also been announced, sir, in the third guarantee, Indrama Indulu, Yuva Vikasam, sir. Sir, in this Indrama Indulu, sir, house sites and rupees 5 lakh financial assistance for Indrama houses for 3,500 per constituency, sir, it works out to 25,000 crores per annum, sir. Sir, Yuva Vikasam Vidya Barosa card, financial assistance card of rupees 5 lakhs will be provided, sir, for the students. Sir, for that again, 38,894.22 crores would be required, sir. Sir, if we go further ahead, implementation of Vidya Jyotalu Patakam Abdul Kalam Tofe Talim scheme and rupees 25,000 upon graduation, 15,000 for intermediate, 10,000 student and passing of 10th grade, the total requirement would be 6,476 crores, sir. Sir, MPhil PhD, as per All India Survey on Higher Education books, sir, 2019 and 20, 5,881 students have enrolled. So for this, sir, 5 lakhs rupees, 294.05 crores per month would be required. Postgraduate students, 1,84,520 at the rate of 1 lakh for this 1 1845.20 crores would be required. Graduates 10,000, 10 lakh 78,781 at the rate of 25,000 for the current academic year 23 24, or total of 4, 4 uh, crores, 9, uh, 4 lakhs 9,450 seats are available for intake of 986 colleges in the state. Per month requirement for this would be 2,696.95. Inter students, sir, again, I have all the calculations. The amount required per month will be 1,221. SSC March, 4,19,460 students have passed, sir. And at the rate of 10,000, the amount required would be 419.46 crores. Che Yuta, monthly pension 4,000. For this, sir, 1,850 crores would be required, sir. Sir, for these six guarantees, the amount that would be required per annum would be 2,15,568.45. I might be wrong, sir. This is why I am demanding a white paper discussion is required, sir. Sir, at the same time, going further ahead, sir, there are other prom promises also in, uh, also in the manifesto, like ele electric scooters will be provided to all young women above 18 years. For that, sir, I have done my own calculation, sir. The required per annum would be 3,37,000.24 crores, sir. Farmer be, uh, will be given interest-free crop loans. For that, 8,225 crores is required. Ambedkar Abhaya Hastam, 30,000 crores is required. House sites and all, again 30,000. Martyrs of first and last phase of Telangana moment will be identified officially. Reorganized and government jobs will be given to one person from their family. Additional monthly honorarium of rupees 20,000, 25,000 will be given. Ye pura agar iske hisab se jate hai, sir, to 60 crores per annum is required for that. Then youth commission will be set up to provide interest free loan up to 10 lakhs. Agar wo dekhte hai, to 10,000 crores are required. Monthly honorarium for of rupees 10,000, 12,000 for priests from all religion, include Imam, Mazan, Khadim, pastors, Granthis. At present, 17,000 is the strength. Sir, for that, 244 per, per annum is required. 1,010 grams of gold in Dramma gift to Hindu and rupees 1,60,000 for minority girls at the time of their marriage. Sir, agar wo le lete hai, to 5,000, 5,113.77 crores. Sir, if we have to see midday meal workers, sir. As per the manifesto of Congress, again per annum for this 996 is required. Monthly salaries for Anganwani teachers will be increased to rupees 18,000 and rest is there, sir. For that, the requirement would be 1 lakh, sorry, 1,335.60 crores. We will be providing monthly honorarium of rupees 1,500 to village panchayat, sir. For that, 160 crores would be required per annum. For PRC of government employees and RTC staff and implementation is a recommendation within six months. Sir, RTC ke baare mein, uske liye per annum 2,000 is required. Provide financial assistance of rupees 12,000 per year to auto rickshaw drivers. And requirement is 537 crores, sir. 
Also, it has been promised that we will provide Mantri honorarium of 5,000 public distribution ration dealers, sir. For that, the requirement is 103 crores. So, 25 lakhs assistance will be provided to students belonging to SCST, BC minorities, pursuing higher, higher education. Estimated 5,000 students per annum, sir. Rupees 25 lakhs into 5,000. That will again be 1,250 crores, sir. Remuneration of guest faculty in all junior degree colleges will be enhanced to rupees 42,000 and 52,000 per month and rest. Sir, for that the requirement will be 43.36 crores. Monthly remuneration of 5,000 to all practicing lawyers up to five years. Average 2,000, sir, if we take at 5,000, the requirement would be 12 crores per annum. 3,000 will be paid as pension to folk artists who cross 50 years, sir. If you take them, then 7.2 crores. Monthly living stipend of 3,000 for all the folk artists will be paid average 3,000 numbers, 10.80 crores. And then 12,000 financial assistance per month or for incident and lab, uh, for lamps of to Hindu temples, sir, wo diya jalane ke liye aur dusre cheezon ke liye 144 crores. And Aragashri package enhancement up to rupees 10 lakh treatment in all diseases 1,200 crore to fulfill all these promises, sir. The requirement would be 3,7,012.86 as per my calculation, sir. So I might be wrong, sir. I might be wrong. I'm not saying I am perfect in this. All right, this is why I demand that a white paper needs to be tabled and we need to have a discussion, sir. Because the people have voted for these promises, sir. And it is a responsibility of the government to fulfill the promises made before the election, sir. So the deputy CMs have pointed out that GSDP of Telangana at current prices has grown from rupees 13 lakhs 2,371 crores in, in the year 22-23 to rupees 14 lakhs 49,708 crore in current year, that is 2023 and 24, sir. However, the GSDP growth rate declined from 14.7% in 22-23 to 11.3% in 2324 due to fall due to a fall in primary sector growth owing to adverse seasonal conditions. So the per capita income of Telangana at current prices also increased to rupees 3,43,279 in the year 23-24 from rupees 3,9912 in the year 22-23. Thus, the deputy CM Saab contradicts himself when he blames the previous government for mismanaging the state's economy and finances and turning a prosperous state into a begging bowl. Sir, under the good governance, through you, I would request the government to revive the District Development Review Committee in district in the state to provide a forum to review of developmental activities by the legislatures and MPs in the respective districts. Sir, on major issues and decisions relating to the policy, the government should call all party meetings to discuss these matters before decisions are taken, sir. We welcome the promise to introduce the Right to Public Service Act apart from setting up comprehensive portal for receiving and addressing public complaints and grievances, sir. Deputy CM Saab have, has also spoken at length about SCST BC minority, woman and child welfare, sir. However, there is no mention of SCST, Special Development Fund and similar sub-plan proposed for backward classes and minorities in his long speech, sir. Sir, with the new schemes proposed under six guarantees, the declaration and other poll promises, there has to be a big jump in allocation of funds for the SCST minorities and women child welfare However, a closer look at the allocation mentioned by the Deputy CM Saab reveals that the allocation of SCST have been reduced substantially to 24-25 for the year 24-25 compared to the budget estimate of 20 for the year 2023 and 24, sir. Allocation of backward classes and women and child welfare have been raised significantly, but the allocation of minority welfare represents a modest increase, sir. There has been no mention of Mahalashmi scheme on provision of rupees 2500 monthly assistance to women in every household in the budget document if even if assistance to only one woman in each bpl family 
that is one crore ration card holder is given the allocation required for assistance is rupees 30000 crores sir honorable speaker sir i do hope that a full fledged budget will set out the priorities programs schemes of the congress government for the all round development of the state and welfare of all sections of people sir <laughs> sir i may recall the call congress manifesto promised to introduce minority sub plan as also bc sub plan to be named after mahatma jyoti bai phule the manifesto assured the congress government will spend 20000 crores per annum per annum amounting to rupees 1 lakh crore in five year period for bc welfare but the allocation of rupees 8000 crore in the vote on account budget indicates a huge shortfall of rupees 12000 crores in the allocation sir so similarly the congress has a short to enhance the minority welfare budget to rupees 4000 crores apart from another 1000 crores of provision of subsidized loans for minority youth and women election ke waqt wada kiya tha ke minorities aur akhliyaton ka budget 4000 crore hoga और उसके अलावा एक हजार कौर देंगे लेकिन जब हम आज देखते हैं तो हमको पता चलता है कि माइनॉरिटीज के लिए सिर्फ दो हजार दो सौ बासठ पॉइंट थ्री टू करोड़ ही दिया गया माइनॉरिटी वेलफेयर के लिए ओटन अकाउंट बजट में जो हमारे बजट के इस साल के 2024 और 25 के साल में इन द करेंट फाइनेंशियल ईयर बजट एलोकेशन रुपीज टू थाउजेंड वन हंड्रेड एंड 1857.93 crores and till now the actual expenditure is rupees 1407.59 crores that is only 64% sir hardly 45 days left to complete the financial year i request the government to release the payments from treasury as early as possible so that this year budget will be utilized properly sir sir request for restoration of pre matric scholarship scheme for minority students sir i would like to recall that the state government in und undivided ap had introduced pre matric scholarship aur ye pre matric scholarship 2007 mein humne rashtriya kreditty saab ke daur mein mutalaba kiya tha majlis ki taraf se aur humne ye iska aagaaz karwaya tha lekin aaj pre matric scholarship scheme state government usko discontinue kar di hai 2016 17 se to main aapke zariye hukumat se mutalaba karunga कि इसको भी आप फिर से शुरू करें सर आई ऑल्सो रिक्वेस्ट द गवर्नमेंट टू रिलीज द आर टी एफ एम टी एफ प्री मैट्रिक एंड ओवरसिप स्कॉलरशिप ड्यूज टू माइनॉरिटी स्टूडेंट एंड एनहेंस द मेस चार्जेस एंड पॉकेट मनी ऑफ माइनॉरिटी स्टूडेंट स्टेइंग इन प्री एंड पोस्ट मैट्रिक हॉस्टल सर सर ऑनरेबल स्पीकर सर थ्रू यू आई वुड लाइक टू ब्रिंग टू दू द नोटिस ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट इज अबाउट द ओवरसीज स्कॉलरशिप स्प्रिंग ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू सीजन टू फिफ्टी एप्लीकेशन we cleared sir 13 crores are required and for fall 2022 season uh, season 250 applications sir the amount required is 51.50 these are the dues sir the total dues are 64.50 crores in overseas sir spring 2023 notification was issued verification process has happened but we do not know ke kitne logon ko manzuri di gayi hai ya nahi di gayi hai और फॉल 2023 नोटिफिकेशन इज पेंडिंग विद द गवर्नमेंट मैं आपके जरिए हुकूमत से दरखास्त करूंगा कि पेंडिंग नोटिफिकेशन जो है उसको जारी करिए ताकि लोग दरखास्त दे सकते हैं ओवरसीज स्कॉलरशिप के लिए एंड आल्सो सर पेंडिंग डिमांड सर ऑफ आरटीएफ एंड एमटीएफ सर यू वुड बी सरप्राइज सर फ्रॉम द पेंडिंग आर फॉर द ईयर ट्वेंटी एंड नाइनटीन इज ट्वेंटी नाइन MTF is 72 72 lakhs for the year 18 and 19 sir the total dues which are to be cleared are 1 crore 1 lakh sir for the year 19 and 20 1 crore 5 lakh in RTF and 74 lakh in NTF MTF the total is 1 crore 75 lakh sir for the year 2021 sir the RTF 4.68 crores MT8 5.6 Six six uh, crores. The total dues are ten crores, thirty four lakh, sir. Sir, and we have if we have to see twenty one twenty two, the RTF is seventy three point seven seven, sir, in crores, sir. And in MTF, three crores thirty eight lakhs. The total dues are seventy seven point one five crores, sir. Twenty two twenty three, sir. RTF 
for minority students, sir. The pending is 191.52 crores and MTF 16.29 crores. The total dues are 207.81 crores. 23-24, it is under process. RTF dues are 18.41, MTF are 7.03. 03. And the total dues are 25.44 crores, sir. Sir, if we have to see the pending, sir, for RTF is 289.72 crores. For MTF, it is 33.82 crores. And the total amount is 323.54 crores, sir. And all these bills are pending with the finance department. Through you, I request the finance minister, sir, deputy chief minister, sir, chief minister, sir, and the government, sir to kindly clear this pending bills which are there with the finance department, sir. So for the year 23-24, financial year scroll pending with the government treasury again, sir, it is 205. I request that this amount should be cleared, at least this amount, sir. I know in the supplementary, we have proposed, hundred and I think some 132 crores for clearance of these dues, but that 132 would not be sufficient. I request that at least let us clear 200 crores so that what happens is that, sir, honorable speaker, sir, this is not just the situation of minority students, sir. The situation is the same for the BC students, for the SC students, and all the students. Mere utna time nahi hai bolke mein SC, ST, or BCs ke baare mein puri tafsil hai mere paas, lekin kafi vak jayega. Main aap ke zari hukumat se mutalaba karunga. के माइनॉरिटी एससी एसटी और बीसीस के जितने स्टूडेंट्स हैं उनकी आरटीएफ एमटीएफ जो पेंडिंग है जो चार चार साल तीन तीन साल से हैं उसको क्लियर करिए मैं जानता हूं कि फाइनेंशियल पोजीशन कैसा है मुझे मालूम है सारी बातें मैं यह कहूंगा एटलीस्ट आपके जरिए आपके जरिए हुकूमत से मैं यह दरख्वास्त करूंगा कि वी शुड राइट अ लेटर्स टू ऑल द कॉलेजेस ऑल द ट्रस्ट एंड द सोसाइटीज रनिंग द कॉलेजेस not to hold the certificates of the students who have completed their courses. At least we can do, the, do this. Look, it's been a long time. But I believe that the government will definitely clear all dues. So we should issue a letter to the colleges stating that, that they should not hold the certificates, they should release the certificates, and they should not hold the certificates, they should release the certificates, and the government will make the payment. This is very important. Why I, am, why I am saying this, Honorable Speaker, sir, is that ki after completing the course, like engineering or any other professional course, they are going for interviews. Ek nahi naukri ke liye. Aur nahi naukri jab unko mil rahi hai, they are required to submit their credentials, certificates de na hai, aur wo certificates college ke paas hai. To usko agar, agar hum letter bhejte hai, ke certificates ko nahi roka jaye, और सर्टिफिकेट्स को रिलीज कर दिया जाए पेंडिंग दिस पेमेंट तो मैं समझता हूं कि काफी स्टूडेंट्स का फायदा होगा और बहुत सारे स्टूडेंट जो ओवरसीज चले गए हैं जिनकी मंजूरी हुई है उनके पैसे भी जो रुके हुए हैं उसको भी अगर आप रिलीज करेंगे तो मैं समझता हूं कि इसमें काफी फायदा होगा सर वाइल द वोट ऑन अकाउंट बजट एलोकेट्स वन थाउजेंड फॉर कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ स्कूल बिल्डिंग फॉर रेजिडेंशियल स्कूल फॉर एस and rupees 250 crores for STs and rupees 1546 crores for BC, sir. I welcome this allocation, sir. I welcome this allocation, but at the same time, I would like to ask the government why no such allocation is indicated for school buildings of minority residential schools. I welcome. BCs could be welcome. SCs could be welcome. STs could be welcome. Minorities could be welcome. शायद कुछ हुआ होगा मैं उम्मीद करता हूं कि आप इसको करेक्ट करेंगे और माइनॉरिटीज को भी इसमें लेंगे स्पीकर सर आई वुड लाइक टू ब्रिंग टू द नोटिस ऑफ अकबर साहब थ्रू यू सर यू नो माइनॉरिटी रेजिडेंशियल स्कूल्स आल्सो विल बी टेकन अप मे बी टाइपोलॉजिकल मिस्टेक एंड सेकेंड सजेशन वॉट यू गेव इज टू address to all private institutions, trusts and all. Uh, the government, uh, basically our uh, education department, we would like to do and write uh, immediately 
that is a right and uh, very positive suggestion made by you. Definitely, we would be going by it. <coughs> Sir, going further ahead with some new, uh, with some few more minority issues, sir. Sir, Honorable Speaker, sir, through you, I request the state government to provide more powers to Telangana Work Board in the form of giving <coughs> it a judicial powers. Because the majority of the people are और कोई पुरसाने हाल नहीं है और ये एक लॉन्ग पेंडिंग डिमांड है एआईएमआईएम का कि जुडिशियल पावर अगर आप वक्त बोर्ड को देंगे तो उसके जरिए हम औकाफी जायदादों की हिफाजत कर सकते हैं क्योंकि औकाफी जायदादें तबाह हो रही हैं वक्त बोर्ड इस फाइटिंग ऑनरेबल स्पीकर्स और ऑलमोस्ट 4,000 केसेस इन वेरियस so, this is why I am bar bar, sir. Almost in the last 25 years, I have been screaming, shouting about the protection of work property, sir. One thing which is required and need, needed is that, sir, that we have a revenue official, the revenue minister, sir, work board ke officials, we can a meeting, kar sakte hai, sir, meeting, kar kar dekh sakte hai, pata kar sakte hai, ke kaun se government lands, hai, kyun government lands, hai, aur ye kyun work board apni land bol rahi hai. We can, we can reach to some settlement at least. The confusion can be, can, can finish, sir. Ye cheez nahi ho rahi hai, toh mein umeed karta hoon ki aap is par bhi ghor karenge, sir. Jaisay ki aap jantay hain, Sridhar Babu sahab bhi jantay hain, wo mere saath aywaan mein thay, barsa baras, aur wo sunay hain ki Mani Kunda Jagir ke baare mein. Mani Kunda Jagir ke liye, jab TRS hukumat mein nahi thi, Telangana ke liye agitation kar rahi thi, toh Mani Kunda waf ki zameen hai kai kar, मेरे साथ मुखदमा लड़ी और लड़ने के बाद में हाई कोर्ट में जीते मैं मैं भी था उसमें और टीआरएस पार्टी भी थी और तेलंगाना बना तेलंगाना बनने के बाद तेलंगाना के अख्तदार पर टीआरएस आई सुप्रीम कोर्ट में केस गया और वो टीआरएस जिसने मनी कोंडा के लिए वफ की जमीन है कहकर मुखदमा लड़ी वही टीआरएस गवर्नमेंट सुप्रीम कोर्ट में ये कहकर लड़ी कि नहीं ये गवर्नमेंट लैंड है तो वो सारी जमीन 1600 चिल्लर एकर वफ की जमीन चले गई चले गई सर सर एंड मोर ओवर सर मैं आप सुन के हैरत करेंगे कि कांग्रेस गवर्नमेंट बोलती है कि हमने इंटरनेशनल एयरपोर्ट बनाया है हमारे दौर में मुबारक आपने बनाया है सही है लेकिन ये क्यों भूल जाते हैं कि वो इंटरनेशनल एयरपोर्ट भी वफ की जमीन पर बना है हजरत बाबा शर्फुद्दीन साहब की पहाड़ी पर बना है वफ की जमीन है so there is so many cases, sir. I will do this in your way. That you sit and 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 تعلیم کے لئے وقت کیا ہے وف کرنے والوں نے بیواؤں کے لئے وقت کیا ہے وف کرنے والوں نے بیماروں کے لئے وقت کیا ہے وف کرنے والوں نے مکہ اور مدینہ کے لئے بھی وقت کیا ہے وف کرنے والوں نے علم کے لئے بھی وقت کیا تو میں آپ کے ذریعے حکومت سے درخواست کروں گا کہ بیس سال سے اکبر ویسی یہاں کھڑا ہے چیخ رہا ہے چلا رہا ہے اور خافی جائدہ دیں اور خافی جائدہ دیں تو پلیز اس کو پروٹیکٹ CBCID کی انکوائری کا آرڈر دیا تھا سابقہ چیپ منسٹر صاحب نے تو میں جاننا چاہتا ہوں کہ CBCID کی انکوائری کی ریپورٹ کب ٹیبل ہوگی انکوائری کب مکمل ہوگی کب وہ لوگ جو آخافی جائدادوں کو لوٹے ہیں ان کو جیلوں میں جالا جائے گا ان کے خلاف کب کاروائی ہوگی ہم چاہتے ہیں کہ وہ لوگ جنہوں نے آخافی جائدادوں کو لوٹا ہے تباہ کیا ہے برباد کیا ہے ان کو بھی سزا دینی چاہیے मुझे खुशी है कि हम कालेश्वरम पर मेरीगढ़ा पर बहस करते हैं और बोलते हैं कि हमारे हमारे पैसे हैं जो लगे हैं उसमें करप्शन हुआ और प्रोजेक्ट सही नहीं हुए इंक्वायरी की बात हो रही है और खुशुरवारों को सजा देने की बात हो रही है मगर ये मैं कहूँगा कि वो स्टेट का पैसा है तो आखाफी जायदादों की तबाही आखाफ वो पैसा जो तबाह हो रहा है उस पर भी हमको कार्रवाई करनी चाहिए 
अगर हम कार्रवाई नहीं करेंगे तो वक्त बोर्ड में कुछ भी नहीं बचेगा दे विल बी नथिंग सर सर गोइंग फॉर द सर सर थ्रू यू सर आई वुड लाइक टू ब्रिंग टू द नोटिस ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट एंड वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इश्यू सर सर आई हैड रेज इन माई गवर्नर स्पीच मैंने मुतालबा किया कि रमजान का महीना आ रहा है रमजान की मीटिंग बुलाइए रमजान के इंतजाम करिए कुछ पैसे दीजिए सर ऑनरेबल स्पीकर सर ऑन द रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ एम आई एम पार्टी इन मी जी ओ एटी वन डेटेड थ्री इलेवन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन माइनॉरिटीज रुपीज हंड्रेड एंड फाइव करोर्स ग्रांट इन एड फॉर द पेंडिंग रेनोवेशन एंड रिपेयर ऑफ वेरियस वर्क इंस्टीट्यूशन ऑफ द तेलंगाना स्टेट ऑलमोस्ट वन थाउजेंड इंस्टीट्यूशन वन थाउजेंड इंस्टीट्यूशन रिसेंटली रुपीज वन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड करोर्स वे रिलीज रिलीज फ्रॉम द फाइनेंस डिपार्टमेंट फंड वे रिलीज टू द कंसर्न डिस्ट्रिक्ट कलेक्टर्स टू टेक अप द पेंडिंग रेनोवेशन एंड रिपेयर वर्क ऑफ वेरियस वर्क इंस्टीट्यूशन हाउ एवर ऑन ग्राउंड द वर्क है नॉट यट स्टार्टेड इन मेजोरिटी ऑफ द प्लेसेज एंड सम ऑफ द वर्क आर स्टिल पेंडिंग आई रिक्वेस्ट द गवर्नमेंट टू कॉल फॉर द कंप्लीशन रिपोर्ट रिगार्डिंग दीज वर्क एंड एग्जीक्यूशन ऑफ दिस वर्क सर सर ऑनरेबल स्पीकर सर इसमें हुआ क्या मैं बोलता हूं सर कलेक्टर्स को फाइनेंस डिपार्टमेंट से पैसा दिया गया लेकिन उस वक्त के मौजूदा टी आर एस की हुकूमत ने हमारी नुमाइंदगी पर पैसा रिलीज किया हमको खुश कर दिया अकबर साहब आप बोले एक सौ पांच दे दिए और वहां कलेक्टर्स को बोले ये पैसा कहां लगाना है लगा दो बाद में देखा जाएगा और 105 सौ पांच करोड़ रुपए नहीं लगाया गया सर एन एक्शन शुड बी इनिशिएटेड अगेंस्ट ऑल दो कलेक्टर्स हुड बी कंप्लीटेड बिफोर रमजान सर हमको एडिशनल पैसा देने की जरूरत नहीं है सर अगर यही काम हो जाएगा तो कई मसाजिद पे काम हो जाएगा कई दरगाहों पे काम हो जाएगा रमजान में मुसलमानों को काफी होगी 105 करोड़ सर 105 करोड़ आप कलेक्टर्स से मंगाइए साहब रिपोर्ट मंगा के उनसे तफसीलात लीजिए सर एट द सेम टाइम सर दरगाह बराने शाह साहब के बिला सर वुमन एम्पावरमेंट सेंटर के लिए मैंने मुतालबा किया था ट्वेंटी करोड़ रिलीज करें वर्क पेंडिंग है सर दस साल से काम हो रहा है मैं आपके जरिए हुकूमत से दरखास्त करूंगा कि वो मेरी कॉन्स्टेंसी में चंद्रायन गुट्टे में दरगाह बराने शाह का इसके लिए कुछ पैसे दीजिए कॉन्ट्रैक्टर को पैसे नहीं दिए वो छोड़कर चला गया नए कॉन्ट्रैक्टर को देकर दे वो काम मुकम्मल करवाइए कुरमल गोड़ा की दरगाह में पचास एकर हम खबरस्तान को लिए और तीस एकर बत्तीस एकर आना है रंगारड्डी कलेक्टर को बोल दीजिए थर्टी टू रिमेनिंग एक्स भी दे दीजिए तो पूरा एक काम मुकम्मल हो जाएगा फिर इसके साथ साथ सर हज हाउस के बाजू में पुरानी बिल्डिंग है दस साल से स्लैब्स डाल के पड़े हैं उसको कंप्लीट कराने के लिए हमारे मुतालबे पर ट्वेंटी फाइव करोज रिलीज हुए थे फिर यह भी हुए तो मैं जानना चाहता हूं कि क्या हुआ इसका बी आर ओस तो दिए गए लेकिन पैसा आया नहीं आया नहीं मालूम और सर इसके साथ साथ सर द रेंट फॉर द टीमरीज बिल्डिंग्स आर पेंडिंग सिंस एट मंथ सर सिंस एट मंथ रिसेंटली मिस्टर कांति वेजली आई एस वॉज ट्रांसफर्ड देर इज नो वन टू लुक आफ्टर टी एस एम एफ सी एंड टी एस सी एम एफ सी सर सर ऑलरेडी द उर्दू अकेडमी का पोस्ट वेकेंट है इसको फिल करिए हज कमेटी का पोस्ट वेकेंट है उसको सी आ, आप फिल करिए सी ओ वर्क बोर्ड इंचार्ज है बोर्ड को कॉन्स्टिट्यूट करिए किसी को भी चेयरमैन बनाइए सी डी एम इंचार्ज सी डी एम एक है जिसके जरिए कोचिंग दी जाती है वो भी कुछ नहीं है उसमें भी लाइए सर दारतुल मारिफ ऑल्सो अंडर उस्मानिया यूनिवर्सिटी में है जहां पे उर्दू के मैनस्क्रिप्ट है बहुत सारे पर्शियन अरेबिक बहुत कुछ है और दस साल से तेलंगाना हुकूमत ने दारतुल मारिफ को निगलेक्ट किया बार बार हमने कहा मैं उम्मीद करता हूं कि यह हुकूमत इस पर भी गौर करेगी और रेगुलर ऑफिसर शल बी पोस्टेड फॉर बेटर इंप्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ माइनॉरिटी वेलफेयर स्कीम सर सर हम देखते हैं माइनॉरिटी वेलफेयर डिपार्टमेंट में थ्रू यू आई रिक्वेस्ट द गवर्नमेंट टू प्लीज कॉल फॉर द डिटेल्स ऑफ द इंप्लॉयज वर्किंग इन माइनॉरिटी डिपार्टमेंट काम करने वाले लोग ही नहीं है सर इस वजह से स्कीम सक्सेसफुली इंप्लीमेंट ही नहीं होती है और फिर कहते हैं कि हमने ये दे दिया वो दे दिया सर सर ओवरसीज स्कॉलरशिप नोटिफिकेशन हैज नॉट बीन इश्यूड आई रिक्वेस्ट दैट थ्रू यू द गवर्नमेंट शुड इश्यू दैट नोटिफिकेशन सर 
اور سر سٹوڈنٹس کا میں نے کہا ہے آپ سے امید کرتا ہوں کہ اس پر بھی غور کریں گے امام اور موزنوں کو انہینسمنٹ کریں گے بولے انہینسمنٹ جب ہوگا ہوگا میں یہ کہوں گا ان کے جو ڈیوز ہے رمضان کا مہینہ آ رہا ہے وہ ڈیوز کو کلیر کر دیجئے مہانہ مہانہ پرانے حساب سے دے دیجئے وقت پہ تو رمضان میں ان کی مدد ہو جائے گی اردو آفیسر سرویسز شوڈ بی اوٹلائز ان ڈسٹرکس فور بیٹر مانیٹرنگ آف اردو سر سر مینالٹ اور اس انیس الگروہ سر سر انیس الگروہ there's a very big building سر سر I have been fighting for this انیس الگروہ right from the time of Mr. when Mr. Vyas Rashtrakar Reddy was the chief minister sir سر دار انیسل گروہ was earlier with the Hindu endowment department a case was won by the work board but still it wasn't transferred راشکر ایڈی صاحب gave an order it was transferred to work board then راشکر ایڈی صاحب gave some amount for renovation of انیسل گروہ then I again demanded then راشکر ایڈی صاحب gave 300 square yards which had gone under road widening then I requested to روشیا صاحب he gave again 500 Then I requested to Kiran Kumar Reddy sahab. He gave again 300. Then I requested to KCR sahab. Now it is on almost 4,000 square yards of land and a big building is standing there, sir. Sir, now the building is there. They want to let out for commercial activity. Sir, through you I request, sir, let us not give this property for any commercial purpose, sir. We can give that space for Timri's office. We can give it for minority other. We can give it for social welfare, sir. Ek yateem khana hai musulmanon ka, gharibon ka. Us mein ek Timri's ka school chalaiye, sir. Sir, us mein gharib bachon ki madad ke liye ek chota sa ek basti dawa khana dal dijiye, sir, waha pe. Agar aap shops ko denge, to ek do mene kiraya aega, baad mein koi bhi kiraya nahi dega, sir. To mene umid karta hoon ke aap اس پر بھی غور کریں گے جو مسائل کو میں نے اٹھایا ہے سر سر at the same time سر so the congress has also promised to rename Dalit Bandhu scheme as Ambedkar Abhaya Hastam and extend it to STs also to raise the financial assistance of rupees 12 lakh per family however there is no mention of the continuation of Dalit Bandhu scheme and the reduction in allocation of SC welfare indicates that no budgetary provisions has been made in the scheme for the year 24-25, sir. Sir, regarding the minority sub-plan, sir, and BC sub-plan, I may point out that this has been the persistent demand of AIMM in the United Andhra Pradesh when the Congress was in power and in Telangana state after the formation, sir. Sir, I would suggest to Telangana government to enact a legislation on the patterns of Act No. 6 of 2022 the AP Minorities Component Outlay Allocation and Utilization of Financial Resources Act 2022 and Act No. 13 of 2019, the APBC Subplan, the Planning Allocation and Utilization of Financial Resources Act 2019 for and marking the funds for minorities and BCs in the state budget, sir. Sir, I hope that the government will bring the bills providing for minority Special Development Fund and BC Special Development Fund in the state budget and mark the allocation for these two sub-plans in the full-fledged budget for 24-25, sir. Sir, I welcome the decision of the government to conduct the caste survey by taking up door-to-door -door household survey for eliciting the data to estimate the social, econo social educational, ec economic, employment and political opportunities for the various caste in general and the BCs in particular, sir. Sir, I hope that the caste census will be completed within six months of the Congress tenure as promised in the manifesto, as promised a separate ministry for backward classes, MBC and separate finance corporation for all major BCs caste would be established soon, sir. The existing finance corporation and cooperative society federation for the various BC groups will be strengthened with allocation of more funds for the assisting these groups. I welcome the assurance that the fee reimbursement will be done and scholarship will be paid on time to the students under the new regime. The TSRTC has to augment in fleet and replace the old buses in view of the growing demands of public transport. Few, few new buses have been <coughs> bought. So I, 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 I welcome the government's initiative of buying new buses, sir. Fueled partly by the free travel for own, the worn out buses and the services are causing delays in scheduled services and also causing accidents claiming innocent humans, sir. Currently, 25 lakh women and girls are traveling in free in TSRTC buses out of 50 lakhs commuters every day. 
This is causing a revenue loss of 13 crores a day to the TS, RTC and government has provided 2,384 crores in the next year's budget, sir. However, the current, current loss of 13,000 crores per day, the allocation has to be raised to 4,745, sir. So the state has enacted the TSRTC Absorption of Employees into Government Services Act 2023, which entails additional expenditure of rupees 3,000 crores annually on the state exchequer and account of absorption of over 45,000 RTC employees in government services. The government has to take provision for allocation of this amount for the RTC employees in the state budget, sir. The Congress has fulfilled its guarantee to introduce Gruha Jyoti scheme to supply 200 units of free power to eligible Families, the vote on account budget allocates rupees 2,418 crore for the free power scheme, sir. Sir, honorable speaker, sir, sir, there were 1.27 domestic consumers served by the two discounters in the state during year 22 and 23. Thus, there are 1 crore domestic cons consumers consuming about 200 crore, 200 crore units per month or 2,500 crore units per annum. The average tariff of consumption below 200 units come to rupees 4 per unit, whereas the cost of supply for domestic consumers as per the TS electricity regulation ERC orders comes to rupees 7.09 per unit for both TSS, PDCL, TSN, PDCL. So for transcode discount, the vote on account budget of rupees for the year 24-25 proposes 16,825 crores, but the budget document volume one by one indicates an allocation of 16,812.62 crores, sir. Then look here, sir, here, sir, speaker, sir, that these figures are. Now, when I say it, people get angry. Sir, what figure in the budget is coming? What figure is coming? What figure is coming? What figure is coming? What figure is coming? This is not a tally, sir. I don't understand when this will be wrong. We need to correct this, sir. Sir, moreover, another budget document, that is one by two, provides only rupees 12,991.34 crores for energy department. I don't know which figures to believe as the deputy CM sub holds the both portfolios in finance and power. Sir, the deputy CM sub has said in his budget speech, page 15, that the government has proposed rupees, rupees 40,080 crores for Panchayat Raj and rural development. I would like to bring to the notice of honorable, my learned friend and legislative affairs minister sub. Sir, however, in the budget papers, volume 1 by 2, statement of demands for grants, the allocation is 11,824.81 crores for Panchayat Raj and rupees 19,640.27 crore for rural development. And total allocation for these two demands come to 31,414 crores. Now... I don't know where the amount rupees 6,665.46 have disappeared. Where has it dis uh, disappeared? Where has it gone? I say it, then they come to anger, sir. But, sir, this is the responsibility of the house. We should give the right figures. Sir, if I go further, then you will be angry and you will say that no, Mr. Akbar Sahib, you will say that it is not possible. I have a whole statement. What is the health department of the health department? And what is the statement? It is full, sir. So, Honorable Panel Speaker, sir, now you can see, sir, as per budget book 24-25, sir, road building, port, school education, higher education, technical education, here is 21,378. आ रहा है और इसमें वन बाई टू वॉल्यूम में द अमाउंट जो मेंशन हो रहा है दैट अमाउंट इज ट्वेंटी वन थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड सेवेंटी एट पॉइंट वन सेवन सर सर एज पर द बजट स्पीच ऑफ फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर साहब इट इज ट्वेंटी वन थाउजेंड थ्री एटी नाइन थ्री सेवेंटी एट यहां है ट्वेंटी वन करोड़ तो सवाल यह है ये फिगर्स क्यों गलत है सर मेडिकल एंड हेल्थ सर सर एज पर द वॉल्यूम वन बाई टू सर इलेवन थाउजेंड सेवन 072.49 and as per budget speech finance minister saab says 11500 so social welfare department tribal welfare aur phir hum isme lete hain sir 18000 isme bhi pure garat hai sir to ye sir main ye keh raha hu ke sir ab isme explanation ye denge sir i know what explanation they will give sir we haven't taken that but sir my question is that backward classes mein बैकवर्ड क्लासेस में 24-25 वन बाय टू वॉल्यूम में 8,000 करोड़ बोल रहे हैं और फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर की स्पीच में भी 8,000
करोड़ बोले सही है फिर उसके बाद में माइनॉरिटी वेलफेयर के बारे में 2262 फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर साहब भी वही बोले ये सही तो ये सही है और वो गलत क्यों है भाई या तो फिर ये भी वैसी आना था जो भी एक्सप्लेनेशन है मैं उम्मीद करता हूं कि इस पर गौर करेंगे सर आई मे ऑल्सो पॉइंट आउट दैट आठ आसरा पेंशन केम अंडर द पीवी ऑफ रूरल डेवलपमेंट एट प्रेजेंट देर आर फोर्टी थ्री लैख सेवेंटी टू थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड एंड टेन आसरा पेंशन इन तेलंगाना स्टेट एंड अनदर टेन टू ट्वेल्व लैख एप्लीकेशन आर पेंडिंग फॉर अप्रूवल फ्रॉम लास्ट ईयर सर फॉर द एग्जिस्टिंग बेनिफिशियरी द स्टेट गवर्नमेंट वॉज रिलीजिंग रुपीज नाइन एटी टू पॉइंट वन सेवन करोर्स पर मंथ द कांग्रेस हेज प्रोमिस टू डबल द पेंशन अमाउंट टू रुपीज फोर थाउजेंड पर मंथ सर सर एट दिस रेट द एलोकेशन नीड्स टू बी रेस टू रुपीज ट्वेंटी थ्री थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड एंड सेवेंटी टू पॉइंट जीरो एट करोर फॉर द एग्जिस्टिंग बेनिफिशियरीज एंड द रेट ऑफ रुपीज वन थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी फोर वन थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी फोर पॉइंट थ्री फोर करोर नीड्स पर मंथ सर बट इन ओटन अकाउंट बजट फॉर द ईयर ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी फाइव सर ओनली रुपीज नाइनटीन थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी पॉइंट टू सेवन करोर हेज बिन एलोकेटेड फॉर द रूरल डेवलपमेंट डिपार्टमेंट सर Sir, I would like to have a clarification as to how the government would pay the rupees four thousand pension to all the existing pensioners, sir. It is very important, sir. Sir, now going further ahead, sir. So the Congress also promised to raise the pension to disabled to rupees six thousand, and I would like to know when the promise is likely to be implemented, sir. Sir, drinking water problem is likely to get acute in summer month this year due to adverse seasonal condition during the last monsoon, which affected the minor irrigation resources in Gram Panchayat. And as also in flows into the major dams, as as Jorala, Sri Salem, Nagarjuna, on the River Krishna, Sri Ram Sagar, on Godavari, sir. So the water supply for GHMC and other municipalities and municipal corporations in Hyderabad is going to be severely affected as the water levels in Sri Salem and Nagarjuna Sagar have come to a near depletion level, sir. So the Godavari drinking water scheme provides only 172 mgd from Yellampally Barrage to GHMC and HMDA. and the remaining quantum comes mainly under krishna water supply scheme stage 1 2 and 3 sir i would like to know about the contingency plan in this regard sir because it is very important sir garma aayega garma mein ramzan bhi aayega to rozedaron ko pani ki takleef na ho isliye hum bar bar keh rahe hain ki ek ramzan ki meeting bula lijiye taki hum in masail ko rakh sakte hain aur iske zariye hum in masail ka hal bhi dhoond sakte hain sir sir already under the existing steam free drinking water supply is provided up to 20000 liters per month to 4.5 lakh household in twin cities sir so the congress government has promised to raise the quantum to 25000 liters per month the hyderabad metro water has to be provided additional allocation for raising the quantum of free supply sir thank you sir hyderabad metro water supply is provided beech pe hyderabad ministry ke aishat pe humne ghmc ka review kiya hai क्योंकि थोड़े पेपर में ऐसे पानी का दिक्कत होगा ऐसा न्यूज आता था तो हमने एच एम डी डब्ल्यू को वाटर वर्क्स को वाले को और उसको सबको मिला के डिटेल सोर्स और स्टोरेज और नीचे तक डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन तक हमने रिव्यू किया है ऐसा कोई तकलीफ नहीं है पानी के लिए हम ये आपको सरकार की तरफ से हम आपको हैदराबाद की जनता को बताना चाहते हैं इसमें कोई ऐसा दिक्कत नहीं होगा और जो रमजान के बारे में इससे पहले भी आपने बात कहा था और सीएम साहब ने फ्लोर ऑफ द हाउस ने बोला है असेंबली के बाद और रमजान का प्रिपरेशन जो भी काम है उसके बारे में मीटिंग बुलाएगा ये उसको आपको यकीन जल्दी असेंबली जैसा होते ही आपको बुलाएंगे थैंक यू सर सर एवरीबॉडी यू नो दे हैव एन ऑब्जेक्शन व्हेन दे हैज एन समबडी इंटरवींस एंड स्टॉप सो बट आई आई वुड से सर थैंक यू सर सर फॉर इंटरवीनिंग आई गॉट सम सम टाइम टू हैव सम ग्लास ऑफ वाटर सर मैं बोलना ये चाह रहा हूँ नहीं नहीं सर प्लीज टेक इट इन नहीं नहीं डिस्टर्ब की बात नहीं कर रहा हूँ सर मैं आपका शुक्रिया अदा कर रहा हूँ कि आपके इंटरवीन होने की वजह से मुझे थोड़ा सांस लेने का वक्त मिल गया ये कहना चाह रहा हूँ मैं सर द एलोकेशन फॉर मुंसिपल एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन एंड अर्बन डेवलपमेंट इन द वोट ऑफ अकाउंट बजट फॉर फॉर द ईयर ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी फाइव रुपीज इलेवन थाउजेंड सिक्स नाइनटी टू करोर सर एज पर द बजट स्पीच सर रुपीज इलेवन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड एटी टू करोर एज पर द बजट डॉक्यूमेंट सर द एलोकेशन ऑफ रुपीज इलेवन थाउजेंड जीरो एट टू करोर इन बजट एस्टिमेट ऑफ फॉर द ईयर ट्वेंटी थ्री ट्वेंटी फोर एंड द मार्जिनल इंक्रीज इन नेक्स्ट ईयर विल नॉट मिटिगेट द फाइनेंशियल क्राइसिस इन द अर्बन लोकल बॉडीज ऑफ द स्टेट सर so the chief minister of himself is holding the municipal administration uh, administration portfolio and i may point out there is a need to tone up the functioning of maud department as well as the ghmc hyderabad metro water works 
and HMDA, other UDAs and 142 municipal corporations and municipalities across the state, sir. Sir, Honorable Panel Speaker, sir, the Deputy CM Saab had pointed out the new government would implement the recommendation of State Finance Commission to release the funds to Panchayat Raj institutions and local bodies. The F SFC has recommended that 11% of state-owned net revenue taxes shall be shall be uh, shall be for the RPIs and ULBs in the ratio of 61 is to 39. However, this commitment is not reflected in allocation for municipal administration, sir. So the, the Deputy Chief Minister Saab has also announced the government's commitment to decongest Hyderabad and to develop all regions in the state, sir. As per the scheme, separate plans will be made for, divide, for dividing the state into three zones in Hyderabad at the centre. Hyderabad inside the outer ring road will be treated as an urban area. The regional bet region between ORR and proposed regional ring road RRR will be pre-urban and area outside RRR will be rural zone, sir. Sir, I think this proposal needs exhaustive study and the government should seek suggestions from all the stakeholders, including the major political parties and elected representatives, sir. Sir, I may also recall that the Congress pro promised to re revitalize uh, the settlement and would request the government to upgrade the settlement, sir. I the governor's speech in the settlement of the settlement, but again, I will do the same thing that आप मजबूत करिए और इंडस्ट्रियल इंडस्ट्रियल ट्रेनिंग इंस्टीट्यूट्स और जो उसमें जो एडवांस टेक्नोलॉजी सेंटर्स हैं वो भी अगर सेटविन के में लाते हैं तो इससे काफी फायदा होगा सर सो द गवर्नमेंट इज प्रोपोजिंग टू सेट अप स्किल यूनिवर्सिटी इन अ सेंटर अक्रॉस द स्टेट सर द गवर्नमेंट इज अशोर्ड टू एलोकेट मोर फंड्स टू खुली कुतुब शाह अर्बन डेवलपमेंट अथॉरिटी सर when I talk about Khuli Khutub Shah Urban Development Authority, sir, sir, through you, I would like to request the government to kindly speed up the Charminar Peristinization project, sir. Charminar Peristinization ka project, kab se, sir, zamane se chal raha hai, sir. 20 saal ho gaye, lekin Charminar Peristinization project complete nahi hota. Lal Bazaar ke fasad ka hai, Miralam Mandi ko achha banane ka hai. Ye bhi kaam pending hai, mein umid karta hoon, ke is par bhi hukumat ghaur karegi. The GHMC is facing a severe financial crunch and the state government needs to come to its rescue immediately by releasing grant of rupees 120 crores for payment of salaries of GHMC staff and 1000 crores for clearing the bill for the capital works, sir. Sir, I want to take a look at the government of the government. Sir, sir the previously GHMC was getting 100 crores under tax for hoardings and LED lights. Now it is reduced to rupees 18 crores per annum. Government needs to concentrate and address on this issue, sir. Sir, GHMC has taken loans of rupees 6,374.48 crores for work of SRDP, CRMP, SNDP work, and HUTCO loan and JNNURM pending work, sir. JNNURM 140, SRDP 4,250, CRMP road maintenance 1,303.48 crores, sir. SNDP 680 crore. The total loan amount for the GHMC is 6,374.48 crores. Sir, ab iske baad mein ab aap dekhiye, sir. Sir, during the moratorium period of current financial year, rupees 68 crores is, is paid as interest per month. And rupees 105 have to be paid for next financial year for the 24-25 as interest and principal amount, sir. Jab hum dekhte hain, JNNURM, sir, the loan amount aapka tha, jo 140 crore, amount jo 23-24 mein dena hai, agar hum SRDP bond, SRDP rupee term loan 1, SRDP term 2, SRDP term 3, SRDP term 4, SRDP term 5, the total loan amount is 6,530, sir. Amount payable is 824, or 24-25 financial year mein, जो amount pay करना रहेगा, amount जो pay करना रहेगा interest का that would be 1,253.67 crores. Sir, पता नहीं है कैसे करें? Sir, I am not against the development which has come. We appreciate that the work works were taken up, the development was taken up, but I would say that the the GHMC was not managed as it should have been managed, sir. आज तनखा देने को पैसे नहीं है, sir. Sir, according to official record, the rupees 1,200 crore GHMC have to pay the pending bills of contractors, sir. Contractors, the GHMC main office, number of bills pending, 160. Charminar zone, 1,591. Khairtabad zone, 1,044. Kukatpalli zone, 809. LB zone, 633. Sikandarabad zone, 692. Sri Rangampalli zone, 612. The total pending bills are 5,541. The amount pending is 
1153.57 crores sir the honorable panel speaker sir government has to come for the rescue sir of ghmc hyderabad sir hamara hyderabad hi hai jahan se telangana ko revenue aayega hyderabad hi hai jahan se humko paisa aayega ab agar hyderabad ko hum kharab hone denge aur mujhe yakeen hai ki hukumat hyderabad ko kharab hone nahi degi balki isko aur aage le jayegi sir main hukumat se darkhwast karunga jo government due hai ghmc ko jo due hai जो सबका हुकूमत टीआरएस की हुकूमत कभी नहीं देती थी कम से कम आप दे दीजिए सर सर ड्यूज आर प्रोफेशनल टैक्स 300 करोड़ प्रॉपर्टी टैक्स फॉर गवर्नमेंट बिल्डिंग्स 107 नॉट सेवन करोड़ फंड फॉर पटना प्रगति 227 करोड़ म्यूटेशन फीस 175.46 करोड़ ट्रांसफर ड्यूटी 2950 करोड़ स्टेट गवर्नमेंट ड्यूज टू जीएचएमसी is 3759.46 crore sir agar ye paisa agar mil jata hai honorable panel speaker sir isme se aadha de do sahab aap aadha aap de dijiye 1500 dijiye nahi to ghmc mein pura kaam ruka hua hai light ke maintenance nahi ho rahi hai sir sir there is there is a switch with which they are supposed to switch off the lights street lights the the people who were supposed to switch off the lights they went on a strike and the lights were burning teen teen din char char din jalte rahe sir sir main aapke zariye hukumat ki tawajjuh lana chahunga ek aur ek ek important issue pe sir log hasenge main bolunga to lekin it is very important sir it is very important sir dog bite sir ghmc mein in the year 2023 sir 30289 sir in the year 2022 80281 आप बताइए जो लोग तरक्की का दावा कर सकते हैं वो कुत्तों को बाइट करने से नहीं रोक सक रहे हैं और कुछ इंतजाम नहीं कर रहे हैं वो क्या करेंगे बताइए अब आवाम ने आपको मौका दिया आप इसके लिए सीरियसली कुछ करिए सर द डॉग बाइट बाइट बाइटिंग इज राइजिंग सर इतने कुत्ते हैं सर के इतने कुत्ते हैं कहीं भी जाओ कुत्ते मोटरसाइकिल पर जाओ कुत्ते बच्चिया जाते हैं बच्चे जाते हैं बाइक्स पे कुत्ते हैं तो ये बहुत ही एक सीरियस मैटर है सर मेरे पास डॉग बाइट्स के पूरे केसेस का है सर सुबह फजर की नमाज में सर जनवरी में 2580 फरवरी में दो मार्च में दो अप्रैल में दो हजार छह मई में दो जून में 2000 सर एक कोई भी महीना ऐसा नहीं है जहां पे 2000 से कम डॉग बाइट्स हुए तो मैं उम्मीद करता हूं सर कि दीज आर द इशूज जिस पर कोई बात नहीं करता है और और हमारे हैदराबाद के रेसिडेंट सर दे गेट एंग्री एंड अपसेट व्हाई आर द लेजिस्लेचर्स नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट दीज इश्यूज सर द पोल्यूशन इज बिकमिंग एन इश्यू सर द ट्रैफिक जैम इज बिकमिंग एन इश्यू सर वी नीड टू हैव मोर पैरेलल रोड्स वी नीड टू हैव मोर फ्लाईओवर सर वी नीड टू हैव मोर बस कनेक्टिविटी सर वी नीड टू हैव मोर मेट्रो ट्रेन सर वी नीड टू हैव जंक्शन इंप्रूवमेंट सर सो पोल्यूशन बढ़ रहा है सर मैं उम्मीद करता हूं कि हुकूमत इस ताल्लुक से भी जरूर संजीदगी के साथ गौर करेगी सर सर आई वेलकम द अनाउंसमेंट ऑफ चीफ मिनिस्टर साहब ऑन रीअलाइनमेंट ऑफ प्रपोज मेट्रो लाइन सर आई होप एंड ट्रस्ट द मेट्रो लाइन पासिंग थ्रू ऑल सिटी स्ट्रेचेस फ्रॉम इमलीम एंड फलक नुमा टू बी कंप्लीटेड एंड द न्यू लाइन फ्रॉम फलक नुमा टू शमशाबाद एयरपोर्ट एलबी नगर एंड शमशाबाद वाया चंद्रायन गुट्टा विल बी टेकन अप सून सर सर राइट टू बंधु स्कीम हैज बीन रीनेम्ड एज राइट टू भरोसा एंड इट इज टू बी एक्सटेंडेड टू टेनेंट फार्मर्स एंड एग्रीकल्चर लेबरर्स the deputy cm says that the scheme is being reviewed and the assistance would be provided only to eligible beneficiaries at a higher quantum of rupees 15000 per acre the manifesto promises that that assistance will be provided to both the land owning farmers and tenant farmers i would like the government to clarify whether both the land owners and tenant farmers will get the assistance for the same price of same piece of land sir so the farmers are eagerly waiting for right to borrow size assistance as well as the loan waiver up to rupees 2 lakh and the government needs to announce the timeline for this at the earliest sir so the government has constituted a five member committee to study dharani portal and suggest measures to resolve the problem it created i would like to know how soon committee will make would make its recommendation and whether dharani will be replaced by another portal bhumata the vote on account budget has provided 21000 378.17 crores for the year 2425 as against rupees 19051.42 crores in budget estimate for 2023 and 24 for education sir 
The Telangana public schools are proposed in every mandal and the allocation of rupees 500 crores have been made for this scheme, sir, on the pilot basis. Sir, I welcome this, but at the same time, sir, I would like to come on record and say that the school education was neglected for the last 10 years, sir. We have been screaming and shouting and say, saying that the government schools need to be concentrated. End of the tenure, sir. Akri me elan kare ke le lenge school bana denge. Lekin schools were neglected, sir. We need to strengthen the school education department, sir. For creation of infrastructure in the state universities, include Usmania University, rupees 500 crores allocated. But I think Usmani University alone would require this amount, sir. We need more amount, sir. I welcome the move to preserve the historic structure of Usmania General Hospital while taking up construction of modern infrastructures at the hospital campus. The Telangana government has taken up the construction of four super speciality hospitals in GHMC area. I hope that the work on these hospitals will continue, sir. So there, sir, uh, when I say about the hospital, sir, sir, through you I would like to bring to the notice of the government, sir, and also the in-charge minister of Hyderabad, sir. Sir, ek, ek GO humne 44 crores ka Balla Gune mein hospital ke construction ka release karwaya tha. Uska tender bhi hua hai. Aur ek zameen humne batai hai, jo Hyderabad Metro Waterworks ki hai, jo 5 acre ki zameen hai, us mein se ek acre, ek acre agar wo dete hai, to hospital a jayega. Agar aap Hyderabad Metro ke MD ko agar bolenge ke wo ek acre zameen de de, to 44 crores jo manzoor huye hai, ek achcha Ali Shan hospital purane shayar mein aayega. Aur ya khud pure mein SRT colony mein bhi hospital hai, ground hai, usko bhi agar aap paisa denge to maha par bhi aayega. The, the Telangana government has taken the construction of four super speciality, which I welcome, sir. The deputy CMs have proposed rupees 11,500 crore for medical and health sector in the hotel account budget, even as the Congress manifesto had made a dozen promises, including establishment of super speciality hospital in every district, 100 bed super speciality, and a maternity hospital in each assembly constituency, 100 bed hospital in each municipality. The manifesto also promised that budget share for health sector will be double the figure. Otherwise, sir, the, uh, the budget allocation of rupees 11, 1,079.49 crores for the year 24-25 as per the budget document indicates the cutback compared to the current year's budget allocation of 11,585.49 crores and in fact the allocation should be doubled at rupees 22,145 crores for 2024-25 at 8% of the state budget as again 4% in the current year sir. So the national health policy says 8% of state budget should be allocated to health department, total budget 2,75,890.60 crores, 8% is rupees 22,971, sir. Sir, as per the World Health Organization requirement, the government has to increase the budget allocation of health to at least 2.5% of GSDP to meet its objective and requirement of 3.5 bed per 1,000 people, sir. 2023 and 24 GSDP rupees sir, 13 lakhs 2,371 crores that is minus 2.5 that is 30, 32,559 crores sir. In all government hospitals there are more than 10,000 vacancies of various categories and I hope all these vacancies will be filled up shortly sir. The Congress manifesto on GHMC development promises that the government will establish four modern maternity hospitals, four modern veterinary and pet care hospital, two modern ENT hospital and two modern eye hospital apartment, four super speciality hospitals sanctioned by previous government in GHMC area, sir. The Hyderabad Youth Declaration, sir, you have promised that monthly unemployment allowance of rupees 4,000 will be given to every unemployed youth till they are provided with employment or livelihood opportunities. However, Deputy CM Saab, budget speech makes no mention on this as if there is no unemployment youth in the state, sir. So the youth declaration also promised that the youth will be pro provided with interest-free loans of 10 lakhs to facilitate the education and livelihood opportunities under young woman empowerment scheme. Ele ele electric scooters will be provided to all young women 18 under Vidya Vikasam guarantee, Bharosa card 5 lakhs or however there is no mention about this promise also, sir. Sir, I welcome the Congress government's order extending accidental insurance coverage to gig workers and other, uh, otherwise known as a delivery boy, sir. Under the housing program, the Congress manifesto promised houses, site, and assist to five life construction, sir. Sir, houses ke baare mein jab aata hoon, to mein phir se humar Hyderabad ke incharge minister saab se kehna chahunga ki gharon ka patta de diya gaya aur jo log gharon mein jo banaye gaye hain, unke patte hain, unko chabi nahi di ja rahi hai gharon ki ummeed karta hoon ki unko de diya jayega, sir. In this budget speech, the deputy CM have announced rupees 3,500 houses will be sanctioned to each assembly constituency under Indramma Illu scheme and proposed allocation of 7,750, sir. Sir, usme 
in the vote on account budget however for 119 constituency the number of houses at 3500 per constituency works out to 4000 4,16,500 units at the rate of 5 lakhs per housing unit the amount required would be 4,16,500 units will be at rupees 20,825 crore sir i would like the minister saab to clarify on this sir i am also seeking clarification on the completion of 2 bhk housing units and different stages in construction and allotment of 2 bhk units to the beneficiaries already selected by the district collectors sir through a lucky draw selection hone ke baad bhi unko wo ghar ka occupation certificate de diya gaya lekin occupation rights unko wahan jaane ke nahi diye gaye to ummeed karta hu ki wo bhi de denge the government has scrapped the grow lakshmi scheme for previous government but application of lakhs of beneficiary has been received at the rate of 3000 per assembly constituency i would like to know the fate of these applications sir sir regarding the regional ring road i may point out the project has been delayed for a long time and would be better to start the construction work on this project on a fast track by initiating the process for land acquisition immediately sir so the deputy cms have had said that the government has allotted 100 acres sir construction of new telangana high court building sir however i may point out that existing high court complex has been accommodating the high court of the undivided ap and few years ago the government maternity hospital of amin bag adjacent to high court was shifted sir in fact the proposal of new high court complex of budwell was contemplated many years ago for the high court for undivided ap sir सर देर इज लॉट ऑफ हिस्ट्री है हमारे हाई कोर्ट के बारे में निजाम मेरा के लेकिन मैं ये जरूर कहूंगा म्यूनसिपल कॉरपोरेशन का ऑफिस पुराने शहर से चला गया कमिश्नर पुलिस का ऑफिस चला गया और फिर कमांड कंट्रोल बंजारा हिल को आ गया अब ये हाई कोर्ट भी पुराने शहर से चला जाएगा मैं उम्मीद करता हूं कि हुकूमत की जानब से इस पर देंगे सर आई एम जस्ट कंक्लूडिंग विद फ्यू इशू सर दिस इज अ इम्पॉर्टेंट जियो थ्री वन फोर ट्रांसफर ऑफ स्पाउस पेंडिंग इन थर्टीन डिस्ट्रिक्ट सर kindly sir through you i would like to bring sir hamari pareshani ye hai sir har waqt log humko aate hain representation dete hain sir morning mein before i leave my house i see lot of people standing there and they give the representation sir sir just give me 2 minutes so that i would just brief sir and, and it is and it is a very important issue sir jio 314 transfer of spouse ji ha sir 314 sir transfer of spouse pending in 13 districts sir sir about uh, the second thing is about this ballagoda bus depot sir we have also वहाँ पे गवर्नमेंट लैंड है अलॉटमेंट के लिए नवीन मित्तल साहब के पास फाइल पेंडिंग है मैं हैदराबाद इंचार्ज मिनिस्टर साहब से बोलूंगा कि जरा उनको बोल के उसको क्लियर करवाइए दस साल पहले श्रीधर बाबू साहब आप भी आपको भी याद होगा सीएम साहब उठ के बोले थे केसीआर साहब अकबर साहब हाँ हम बल्ला गुड़े में आपके एरिए में रजिस्ट्रेशन ऑफिस दे देंगे अब तक नहीं दिए साहब तो जरा वो रजिस्ट्रेशन ऑफिस दे दीजिए सर बल्ला गुड़े में तो मैं आपसे अगर वो रहते तो दोहराता था सर सर मैं रिक्वेस्ट करूंगा सर के के रेवेन्यू मिनिस्टर साहब को हैदराबाद इंचार्ज मिनिस्टर साहब को के एक बल्ला गुड़े में रजिस्ट्रेशन ऑफिस जो साइवान में प्रॉमिस किया गया है बिल्डिंग है सिर्फ स्टाफ देना है मैरिज रजिस्ट्रेशन हो सकता है लैंड रजिस्ट्रेशन हो सकता है अब पूरे ओल्ड सिटी में आजमपुरे में एक रजिस्ट्रेशन ऑफिस है तो मैं उम्मीद करूंगा कि आप उसके ऊपर भी जरूर करेंगे on and one more representation is about old pension scheme and prc sir implementation of old pension scheme employees appointed after 19 2004 sir sir uh, who were absorbed in new pension scheme through notification were released sir as promised in the manifesto sir the six guarantees serial number 28 page 20 sir abolish the current contribution pension scheme sir is taluk saving or serial number 29 mein bhi hai sir prc ke bare mein bhi kahunga request to give promotion also sir this is a very important issue i have been raising this issue from quite a long time request to give promotion in arm reserve police constable head constable aris and and which is pending in last 2 years sir sir sab logon ko promotion diya jata hai sir sis tak promotion diya jata hai lekin bichare constables ko promotion dene kya jo tenure hai wo zyada hai to iske liye bhi main correct karne ke liye aap se request karunga release of gpf loan of government employees since which is been pending from last 2 years request to constitute the second pay revision commission prc to examine and recommend revision of salaries to state government employees pensioners outsourcing and contract employees and also sir kamal commercial stack uh, department sir post of acto at dst work in commercial departments is non gazetted sir they have been requesting to give them the position of gazetted officers financial koi kuch nahi hai uske upar lekin kai baras se ye bhi pending hai main ummeed karta hu ki aap इस पर भी और करेंगे और ऑल्सो सर अबाउट दिस निजाम पुलिस अंबरपेट सर सर दे हैव कंप्लीटेड 34 ईयर ऑफ सर्विसेज विदाउट एनी प्रमोशंस 
Sir, they were appointed as constable and retiring also in same category presently 430 are working and request to enhance the strength to 730. If staff strength is enhanced, the promotion process will be easy, sir. To promote the staff, enhance the manpower, SAR, CL, CPL and TS unit, file is the memo number 300, pura uska hai, sir, dafseel mein letter bhi deta hon, sir, regularization of university lecturers, sir. Sir, also TSW, REIS staff, sir, there are around 567 teachers are working in contract basis since last 16 years in the Telangana Social Welfare Residential Education Institute Society School without any complaints or request for regularization of their services, sir. Also about the GO314, sir, which I have already mentioned, sir. I would not go. Urdu Academy ke computer ke operators, library ke employees hai, sir. Wo log bhi bol rahe hai. And, sir, very long pending issue about Urdu 69 self-finance junior college lecturer, sir. Request to implement GO162 issued in the year 2017, which is pending in this. CMO's office, sir, file number 120, 1201 oblique 1E oblique A1 oblique 2019 and 20 regarding 69 junior lecturers, sir. Sir, also, may ye reinstate of artisans, jo hai saab artisan 117 A uh, TSSPDCL ke hai, unka bhi ek numayindagi humne ki thi, sir, uske baare mein bhi aap se kahunga. Sir, honorable panel speaker, sir, you have clubbed two discussions, sir. Now, supplementary demands are here. Sir, if with your kind permission, if I would be given a break of 10-15 minutes and then only 10 minutes, I will have a discussion on the supplementary. Or if you say, I will continue now only, sir. Sir, now going on the discussion for the supplementary estimate for expenditure of the year 23-24, the Deputy CM Saab has presented the supplementary estimate for the financial year 23-24. In the Oton account budget for 24-25 presented in the House on the 10th February, he had provided the details of the revised estimate for the financial year 23-24. By the budget estimates, sir, the total received as per revised estimate of Rs. 2,25,348.63 crore as against the budget estimate of 2,89,672.65 crore in the current financial year, that is 23-24. Similarly, Honorable Panel Speaker, sir, the total expenditure as per revised estimate is Rs. Ru 2 lakh 24,624.87 crores as against the budget estimate of 2 lakh 90,296 crores. The fiscal deficit as per the revised estimate is Rs. 33,785.83 crores as against the budget estimate of 38,234.94 crores. Honorable Panel Speaker, sir, I may be recall that the Deputy CM Saab had said about the budget presentation with the previous government. I quote, the previous government's budget was far from reality, it was inflated and receives and created the illusion that they are providing huge funds for different schemes. He further assured that we dispense with the, ter with the terrible practice and we have estimated our receive realistically and have made allocation accordingly. This shows our commitment to match our actions with our words. Now he has come up with the huge supplementary estimates. Huge supplementary estimates of rupees 46,400.40 crores for current financial year. Sir, it is true that previous government tenure ended soon after eight months of the current financial year, where over does the Congress came to power four months before the current financial year comes to close on 31st March, sir. So, Honorable Panel Speaker, sir, the government has implemented some components of the six guarantees and other promises made in the manifesto and it is likely that some more components of guarantees and other promises may be implemented before the current financial year ends of 31st March. Major allocation and the supplementary estimates are indicated for irrigation, rupees 16,661.01, agriculture rupees 9,855.99 crores, panchayat raj rupees 5,890.64 crores and energy rupees 2,764.34 crores. These four demands amount to 35,175.98 crores and remaining 33 demands account for balance of 11,224.42 crores. Sir, through you, I request the Deputy CM Saab and the Finance Minister to enlighten us on the need for seeking such a massive supplementary estimates of rupees 46,400.40 crores. I would like to know the details of allocation for guarantees and other manifesto in the supplementary estimate for four months period, sir. Sir, I may also point out that Article 30205 of the Constitution of India, Part 6, the states dealing with the supplementary additional and excess grants says, the Governor shall A, 
if the amount authorized by any law made in accordance with the provision of article 204 to be a, ex, uh, expended for a particular service for the current financial year is found to be insufficient for the purpose of that year or when a, a need has arisen during the current financial year for supplementary or additional expenditure upon some new services not contemplated in annual financial statement for that year. B, sir. If any money has been spent on any service during financial year in excess to the amount granted for the services of the last year caused to be laid before the house or the house of the legislature of the state, another statement showing the estimate amount of the expenditure or cost to be presented to the legislative assembly of the state or demand such excess as the case may be, sir. So the revised estimate points to the shortfall in the receipt and the expenditure. There is a shortfall of rupees 65,671.13 crores in expenditure as per revised estimate compared to the budget estimate for the year 23-24. However, with the supplementary estimate for expenditure of rupees 40,400.40 crore in additional revised estimate of 2,24,624.87 crore, the overall budgetary expenditure will rise to 2,071,025 point. 27 crores during 23-24. Since the state has already exhausted its borrowing limit, uh, limit under FRBN Act by December 2023, I would like the Deputy CM Saab to clarify, to clarify as to how the state is contemplating to raise the financial receipts to meet the expenditure and the supplementary estimate before financial year closes on 31st March, sir. I hope the Deputy CM Saab would respond to all the issues raised by me in the supplementary estimate, sir. So in the supplementary estimate, sir, rupees 46.40 crore, which I had earlier just said, I don't see any provision made for the guarantee of promises being implemented by the Congress government, sir. So under the Transport Administration, the supplementary allocation is rupees 3.74 crores, but no provision has been made for free bus ride scheme for women, which requires release of subsidy of rupees 1,200 crores to TSRTC. Under the medical and health supplementary allocations of rupees 1030.70 crore, no provision is made for doubling of arrogatory assistance of rupees 10 lakh. For energy department supplementary allocation is rupees 2365.96, including rupees 1700 crore for taking over discom losses under Uday scheme and rupees 1020.61 crore for subsidy of for agriculture. No provision is made for free power supply of 200 units to the domestic consumer, sir. For civil supplies administration, supplementary allocation of rupees 97.43 lakhs is made, but, but there is no provision for LPG cylinders at rupees 500 scheme. On the other hand, the supplementary estimates include a massive allocation of rupees 16,683.54 crore for irrigation department, including. Iska jawab dena, sir. Sir, panel speaker, sir, khatam kar raha last paragraph, sir. Sir, on the other hand, the supplementary estimate includes a massive allocation of rupees 16,683.54 crores for irrigation department, including rupees 12,663.36 crores for Gajwell Circle. Gajwell Circle. So I welcome the supplementary allocation of rupees. Shayad, I think they would have been happy. Sir, I welcome the supplementary allocation of rupees 135.20 crore for minority, for minority welfare, sir. And I conclude by once again thanking you for giving me this opportunity, sir, for speaking. And I hope that the issues that I have taken from the issues of Hyderabad, from the minorities, from the SCSTs and BCs, from the government of Sanjeevgi, اس پر غور کرے گی اور سب سے اہم بات یہ ہے کہ پورے کالیجز کو ایک لیٹر دے کر ان کو کہیں کہ سٹوڈنٹس کے سیٹیفیکٹس کو نہ روکیں اور دوسری بات رمضان کی میٹنگ بھی بلانے کا منسٹر صاحب نے وعدہ کیا ہے میں ان کا شکریہ ادا کرتا ہوں اور پینل سپیکر صاحب میں آپ کا بھی شکریہ ادا کرتا ہوں کہ آپ نے مجھے اتنا وقت دیا جس کے ذریعے میں نے جتنی کوشش ہو سکتی ہے کی ہے سارے مسائل کو اٹھانے کی اگر کوئی مسائل چھوڑ گئے ہیں تو میں جانتا ہوں کہ مجھ سے زیادہ خابل لوگ آپ کے خریب ہیں وہ لوگ آپ کے علم میں لائیں گے اور ان مسائل کو حل کروائیں گے شکریہ پینل سپیکر